probably only staying out of the way because he thought it was Henry Cole coming. <laughs> Okay, we're heading up to uh, the reservoir route. We've come, um, we stay in near Elan Village. We've just rode out, um, come from that direction. We did notice there was a back road there which says Elan Village, and we know it's coming out of the campsite. So it looks like we probably could have come some, somewhere um, over the top, perhaps somewhere. So we're going to try that way back. Nice old bridge there, look, and then uh, and a new one there to replace it. Anyway, right, we're heading up, so in a minute we should get to, uh, oh shit, it looks like a damn wall to me, I think we're going to ride across the top of a damn wall, so, let's have a look, should be good, check mirror, mirror signal with foot manoeuvre, we're off, lovely day for it again, we keep getting like a really bad oil day, like yesterday, we actually bought an event shelter, which came in really, really handy, look at that, that's quite interesting down there, some sort of centre down there. Yeah, we're on the bench and we're pleased we were because literally, um, it just literally rained and rained and rained. But then today, again, right anyway, you get off and it's like completely different. There's an old, uh, there's a damn wall. Oh yeah, there's a bit of a torrent coming out the bottom of that. It's beautiful. Coming up, we need to go um, a little bit, a little way up this road. Ooh, just checking, there's nobody behind me. Then I'm dawdling along, right, filming stuff. And I thought it need to be uh, courteous to the drivers, obviously. Yeah, our route. Um, we're going to go up this road here, and we should cut across somewhere up there. And we're going to help up that hill. So it looks like it should be a good day. Bit of breeze on today, which is good. Bit cooling. If it gets like really cold, I tend to put my wets on, and that kind of blocks out. Because this, I mean, I've got three layers on. I like to put my uh, upper body chest armour over. Uh, basically, it's an old um, Lincoln City up the imps, up the mighty imps, I should say. Yeah, I put it over the top of a, a um, goalkeeper top. Otherwise, I find if you don't hit the deck, it chafes your uh, elbows and stuff. I mean, if I hit the deck, I'm always hitting the deck. So, um, yeah, I do that. Then I put um, the armour on. Then I put my... Um, today I've got the Thor Sector gear on. They actually got a new set for the trip. And uh, when I fell off in the water, I don't know whether you've seen that video. Yeah, when I went ahead, took the plunger along and I picked the bike up, I actually managed to burn uh, a hole through the knee on the manifold. We have to get some sort of um, MX styly patch to go to glue over it I think. So coming up somewhere there should be a link for us. I'm hoping it's not a footpath because I just noticed there's a footpath down here. That, yes we can, there's a vehicle on it. Right, we're going to go across that there look. So if you want to have a look at that, we've got nobody behind me except for my gate man. Yeah, so look at that, that's really nice. Better of start indicating there. Look at that, awesome. Proper engineering look. Yeah, we've got this one, I don't know what this guy's doing. Or gal, I should say. Oh no, it is a guy. He's in a left-hand drive car. So we're going over here. So let's go. I think that's uh, copper, and it goes green. That's what you call patina. So we're across here. We should hook that road going round there. We should pick our link up round the back of this headland. It's so about any signs that we see. So. No, nothing, so let's go. Well, we know it's a route. I've picked the... Well, ha, again, didn't work out the other day too well, but I've selected these routes using the Welsh uh, Trail Rider Fellowship uh, Greenbows mapping, um, which you, you must um, assume is up to date. Seems we're into the uh, off-road season, so... Um, Usually this time of year all the temporary restrictions are off. Although there was one the other day that was still on. Even for motorcycles, it was a permanent one for four befores and it was uh, but also got a temporary one on for um, two wheels as well. For some reason without being able to go on it, I couldn't tell you why that is. 
obviously just poor conditions. We get a lovely day through, isn't it? So we should be coming up on our entry point within the mile. Exciting stuff. I'm just about to comment on the new chain and sprockets, but I'm not going to well, I don't want to tempt fate, so I'm going to keep my mouth shut. But just between you and me, they're working out quite good. I don't think the camera heard that, so that'll be alright. Not the camera, I don't think the bike heard that. OK, we've got a Mr Dog here. Dogs are a bit like 4x4, four four, aren't they? I'm like uh, a motorcycle on two legs and my dog's like he's on four-wheel drive so he's like belting up stuff and he tends to take a route but he can get them though which obviously I can't so I end up having to follow him. It's like when I'm playing squash I end up chasing the ball and I suddenly think to myself hold on a minute you're chasing the ball and the other guy's just stood in the middle. And it's like with the dog, so he suddenly thinks, right, well he needs to be going where I'm telling him, not where, I don't need to be going where he's going. He works the other way around. He's getting there though. He's a lot better than he used to be. He just gets a bit excited. Especially here, because like yesterday, I did take him out, but he just really didn't want to go. And this morning, he's absolutely and utterly full of beans and wants to go everywhere. He's had a good three hours and now we're going to go out for a good three hours, he'll be fast asleep now. Back at the base. So we should be picking up our route somewhere. I'm going to pull over and zoom in now because we're kind of on top of it unless it's just this road that keeps going Pff, I've got to fly in the crash up there, there we go no, he's still in it, out there, so he's gone there ah, right, I see, yes, yeah, so zoom in so it's up round the bend and it should be on the right after this sort of like loop round We're left here. Crikey, is that for livestock or for the tourists? So it's down here. Yeah, that's that one. So we go no through road, that's what we like to see. Pont one, weak bridge. Very old bridge too. So it kind of Does it go around the back of this barn? It kind of goes... It's up there, isn't it? Here it is. See, strangely it says bridal way, but we're shown on the TRF websites as a route that we can use. I don't know why it's shown as that. Yeah, well, if it's got to use it, why is there signs up for, for no motor vehicles? It's misleading. We're allowed to use this route. It's on the TRF website. The Welsh TRF website, so they know their onions. That gave me a start. Wait, what?
Are you getting it? See, you've got them signs earlier again saying it's a Broadway, but it's just... Ah, but that was a blue one. Maybe it doesn't mean it's only a Broadway. Maybe it just means this is a Broadway as well, because it's... I've got them off the... This is fresh off the uh, Welsh TRF websites. I mean, they know the stuff, do they? So it can't be wrong, can it? It literally took it off last night. Do it. Trying to get in a position where, yeah, that'll do. <coughs> this is another one AC. You have to lift that up. <coughs> and then it still didn't work. There we go. Well, <coughs> excuse me. Enjoy closing that one because it's twanging down. He loves the ones that twang now, he's told me. Another gate. Go anywhere, machines. Gotta love them. Leave it running. Maybe it's just Powers do it different because the other ones actually say County Road or whatever. This just says Powers County Council up with a red arrow. Yeah. So maybe that's the, it's the same symbol, isn't it? Yeah. It's just not in black and doesn't say County Road, but I don't know. I'm sure somebody at the farm would come running out to pounce on us if we we're in the wrong place. Looks like we might have some four legged fluff balls. Join us on this one. I don't know which way do we go here to me? Our oh, route's shown us this one. Looks like a nice route. Look, I'm going to go through there. I 
he's asleep, really not enough, he was, I've been ten I mean, ten minutes he was. What's having his after lunch nap? We're still on track. Interesting. Oh, I see it's downhill. Come on. See, the only difference is with this now, with the gear now, is I am having to use the crutch a lot more, in all honesty. I'm doing really low speed. Ride faster, I hear you shout. Lovely little route, this. Look at this, gorgeous, look at this river here. I'm going to perch myself on top of here. Oh yes, look at that. I tell you what, Bob Ross could probably paint this from memory. Trees, rivers, beautiful. <coughs> Everybody needs a friend, he used to say, didn't he? Even trees, trees need friends. Yeah, you got some Yeah, you see look You didn't pay attention I'm gonna have to hop off park him in there and I'm gonna go that way I don't want to come up there. So I'm probably going to drop this. You want me pegs? Oh, I made it. Let's have a look. Good call here. Should have bombed here, they should have hopped up these two for some power in here and then up onto this. Didn't read it ahead. I mean, where did I go? I went all the way up there. Ridiculous, really. As punishment, I should go back and do it again. All those who look at it. Oh, I better move. Got to save again here, and right, pick a route then. Nope. 
pull it back. Go! Oh, stalled it. Come on, yes. Okay, clear. Off. Got some nice little bits. Let's go back. Pardon the breathing. See what we got. Trying to get in his way. I mean, I'll tell him where I came up, but I'm not. I doubt they'll try and get up that bit anyway. Four before's have been here, haven't they? Look, pile all them rocks up there. This is your line here. I didn't fancy coming up here. Yeah, but the rest. Yeah, when you come up here, you want to come, want to come wide. Look, and you turn in and just go through that ridge. Look, see that ridge. And end up over there looking the, the steel even though there's all that like stuff there still grip and the next one just um it's only like a foot and a half high just uh, coast over it power on i mean that's basically it after that it's the flat bits power you got the flat sort so you flat there so you power coast power coast and then we're you're playing sailing again after that but yeah the easiest route has come wide there i actually got hung up there because you've got to kind of just think quick, haven't you? I should have, should have pulled up here really, and I would think about it, but I didn't. Yeah, I come round here, but I got stuck on there, but it's just what I say. Back to your YouTube training. Yeah, just pull it back, because you get stuck. One of the things is just pull it back, and just as you let the clutch out, just sit down on it so you get the bite, and it just takes you straight up over it. But I wouldn't attempt to... I would not attempt to go up these, but it's up to you. Because I think the 4 fours have put those there. I don't think trail bike riders have. This is good though, look, because if you look here, it has actually got a lot of grip, look. There's a lot of micro texture on that, so you actually got there's a lot of grip to be had there. See, so now you stood here, that there looks doable, doesn't it? But as you're low down coming up to it, it looks steep, but I mean, there looks doable as long as you're not gonna. If you stop halfway, though, you're off, aren't you? So it's probably easy just coming up to this edge. Going up on these. Oh, actually, I went there, look. I thought I'd gone up that way. Yeah, I went up that way.
see again is this I'm not sure this normally is like this with the um, water running down it I think normally it's bone dry but there's been so much rain well, you can even see look people have chopped through that way good one I came this way Go on, power, power, power! Oh, it's lucky. Maybe I just I didn't really have enough power then, but see, that's quite good. I went up this side here, I think. I'd have to look at the playback, yeah. But what it looks like this, and you've got like mush on it, this has actually got some really good micro texture on it. Perfect. I made a back rack for this bike, but unfortunately the other day, it, uh, oh again, it's probably when I fell off upside down, one of the side bits on it cracked, so I got back to a rucksack again, so I've got a really sweaty back now. It's supposed to be an airflow one, but it must need its air filter changing. Looks easier, doesn't it, for at least round the headland there. Seems like this, watch how you use so power coast, power on the flats. There I am. It was alright, kicking this rear, rear wheel across a little bit. So these are good, nobody's been through them recently, so. You can see how deep they are. Or at least I can. And they're not very deep now on our coast. Plastic bag in the bottom of that one. Rocky stage here. Just do my. Well, it was the same for the bottom of the V's, and if the tyre slips, it kind of. It can't really slip up. They always try and slip down. That's what we need, a little easier bit for a bit. A little bit of a. Drop one two. Now then, this looks like a bit of a bowl, doesn't it? Let's have a look at this. It's not deep. Okay, so we've got some like a rocky ledge up there, so we need to be ready to put a bit of power in, like so now. Coast. Oh. I pulled the clutch in instead of putting some power on. It nearly coasted over it though. Some of these are deep, shallow.
Now this is a long one, so these long ones can get deep. I'm just gonna go for it. Yeah, this is deep, this is deep. It's good though. That's how deep it is people. Beautiful. Let's try this one, you see. What I've learned is on things like this, when you got four before, the kind of weight sort of falls down, so normally on this particular one, look, because the lower lands like that and it's dropping off that way, you're better off trying to stay high. It could be famous last words, but that's normally when they dig themselves in, it's on the low side because the weight kind of slumps that way. This one's shallow, you see the bottom of this one. He's got a very fit behind me, obviously, he's following me, so he just follows me. He'll know how deep it was, you see now. Got this one here. I'm going to take a look at it first. I'm going to take a look at it because no one's been, you can see. So we've got the benefit. People have been um, <coughs> bypassing it, but let's have a look. I mean, it's no deeper than the other one, is it? That's a little bit shallower than the other one. Looks a little bit shallower than the other one. I'm glad this isn't the GS850. We won't be able to do that. Not in a million years. Beautiful. There's no go around this one. Oh, this one is shallow anyway, look. Not a problemo. Now this one is dirty. I'll go up the middle, look. Yeah, I've got that in the middle. Literally. Probably didn't even get the rims wet. Take a looky looky time again. The benefit of clear waters. Shallow. Yeah, dead shallow that one. Yeah. Deepest bits there and it's only like that. Put a bit of sludge in it though, but I'd rather use the energy this way than pushing it back out again. Or taking the spark plug out. Oh yeah, nice. Got another sheep dip here. This one's got a nice rocky bed on it. Stops it eroding, doesn't it? I love going through the water, I just don't love having to take the side panels off, take the spark plug out to um, jettison all the water that it's induced and obviously all the time you're thinking, oh, is the con rod bent, isn't the con rod bent? And it's always nice when you find out that no, the con rod isn't bent.
quite that big rock. So he could have gone through that. It's like where we're staying, the lady says, to look out for a pea on their sheep, and that's their sheep. None of these have got pea on them. in second so we go up to a point here maybe we cross the maybe it's a river crossing that'd be cool more of river crossings so look where we go oh no it's not here thought it might be there it is there So yeah, we've got big river crossing. Let's have a look at this. How cool is this? Oh yes. Looks like there's a bit pulling across the other side as well. Okay, uh, so that's the dam. Does it say what dam it is? I really ought to know, haven't I? So, let's go and have a look at this bad boy then. I want to take a look. Might have weighed in because, reason being, my feet are going to get wet now anyway. Yeah, there you go then. Yeah, that's alright. No, it just stays the same sort of depth really. Just watch out for the rocks. If you leave, after I've gone through, if you leave it like, well, literally seconds, it'll clear clear any muck I kick up, won't it? Yeah, that's doable. I thought I'd have a way down, feet are going to get wet now anyway, aren't they? Because I'm going to... I'll try standing up, but them feet are going to come down. Um, we, yeah, okay. Well, let's get this one shut. Because there's room to park up on the other side as well. Dig, 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 Speaks to me. When you pull the clutch in. Are you alright with that? Right. This is a good route, this. I think this is a whole day's 
route all in one. Bit of everything, isn't it? Oh well, feet down. Big rock there. I'll look straight at it because you end up uh, right into it then, don't you? Look at that gorgeous. Really, really nice. Let's see if I open the gate, possibly. There's a huge boulder. There's two huge boulders there. If you just aim straight for here, but you, you can see the bottom, so you'll see them, but it's, it's like Sod's Law, isn't it? Because I looked at it, I rode straight over the very top of it. Oh, lovely cool feet. Right. Oh, now then, how do we get this one open? Is there another one now? This one's a bit of... Uh, crochet on this one. Am I uh, missing something? gloves off undo them let's just check this is the room let's check this is the room I'm sure it is yes I thought I was going to have to undo a secondary knot. I'm going to have to undo a secondary knot. Yeah, yeah. Tedious. Going to pull this one through around. easy. used to bite my fingernails. I'd be shouting him over to do it if I still did that. There we are. We'll tie it up more, um, more route friendly for others. I'm going to have to go back in the drink with mine. Your oyster awaits, as I say. Well, hey, he's over. Go for it, I'll tie the bloody thing back up. I think somebody was having a bit of a laugh with us. Park up there, can you? Right, and I'm uh, well, let's not forget my gloves, of course. Let's get those first. I could ride all around there, couldn't you? Right then, as usual. Oh, it's parking too far up by him. As usual, let's get that on there. Look, there we go. Let's use this look. Get a leg up off that. Lovely. Right, I start her up. Get this clutch dragged down.
draw them sheep. Can sheep swim? I think they can, can't they? They get dipped, don't they? But I suppose the feet can touch them. No, they can't, can they? They actually get dumped completely under, don't they? Yeah, here we go. We uh, cross this bridge. Oh, yeah, that's strange. I don't know what I've done there. I don't know whether you can see it on the camera anyway. You normally can't. You normally... Uh, uh, yeah, well, you normally can't. That's all I'm saying. I wonder if we're allowed to go and look at the resi. Sorry, not the resi, the dam. What's he doing? He's doing some macrame. Is macrame made with string? God, this is kind of like doilies or something, isn't it, macrame? Look at that, I bet you, you can just go around that way. Well, gee, you can't come through here, look, can you? No, you can't, because that went kind of to there, didn't it? There's a footpath through there, that'll be your uh, bridal way. Oh, yeah, nice bit of a waterfall coming down there. Lovely. What's he do? Is he having a break? Let's see if I can leave this one open. As soon as he starts to move, I'll have a look up there because it looks like on here, it looks like you can actually go up to the dam wall. There's people actually on the dam wall. I can see some people walking across the top there. doesn't say private. The key's coming. Let's pedal this little fella backwards, look. Let's pull him up here. No, no, close it. You have to close it. I can do it if you like. I can do it if you like. Yeah, you better close it. No, I'm just waiting for you. No, I don't want you loud up here. Wow, awesome though. Spillway. Very awesome. No, not loud in there. Way that way. Maybe yeah, because that's that way. Shame, look, what a shame. Yeah, right, let's go.
here we are, this is what we're looking for, right, ah, so it's Claire Wen, Claire Wen Dark Skies, so in 2015, uh, yeah, I'm not even going to pretend that I can read, oh, the, the English is next to it, look, 2015, Elan Valley became the first privately owned but publicly accessible park in the world to achieve international dark sky park, ah, so that's really good, so dark sky states, you could come here at night, and it's completely black, so you can go like watching stars and stuff like that. That's good, wouldn't it? The entire 72 square mile of Elan Valley are protected against light pollution for the benefit of those who live and work here and visitors and for wildlife. Be cool, wouldn't it? No overnight parking or camping. No barbies. Motorists, have you put your side stands down? You are here. Yeah, just have a look at that route up there, but I knew it said no. I knew it said no vehicles. What's up? Queen's been here, look. An official opening. Where you go up there? Yeah, we need to go up there, look, yeah. Up there and then where? Don't know. Just up there. Well, because you could get right round the other side of the lake, look. Yeah, we are doing. Oh, right. Yeah, but you have to go around this side first. Oh yeah, you won't finish yet mate, this goes on and on and on, this one does. That's why we're doing it first. Toilet block there. There's that guy in his van look. There's a guy in his van look. He's got up some money. Okay, let's go. There you go, so always educational every day as they say is a school day and we learn we live and we learn like sheep with good road sense you probably only staying out of the way because he thought it was Henry Cole coming <laughs> Good old Henry, actually like Henry Cole programs are quite good. I'll tell you what, he's never off the telly, is he? Um, shed and buried. Um, find it, fix it, flog it. Find it, fix it, drive it. The motorcycle show. There's others as well. There's others. Uh, oh, I know. Um, I know, I've said that one. Find it, fix it, flog it. Shed and buried is, uh, is my favourite, to be fair. The thing is though, he always finds these motorcycles. I mean, you know, I can, you can never find old British vintage motorcycles. There's something not quite right there. Yeah. He goes and finds something, and the bloke will say to him 1500 quid, takes it home, changes the oil, cleans the points, and the one thing running there, just flog it on for about. Well, even when he flogs it on, he, he, I, I couldn't get one for the money that he flogs it on for, but then they're his mates, aren't they? So, um, you know, it's any television programme anyway, isn't it? A very, very good setup though, Henry Cole has. Really good setup. There you see, now that's what I thought, because we're going to go. Are we going across the top of the. Are we going across the top of the dam? I think we ought to go across the top of the dam anyway. Then we're off that way. Come on then, let's go. So we've got. Right. So you've got water at that level on one side, and on the other side, you've got, look at that. You've 
to be a bit like a tiny bit naughty here. I'm just going to hop on the footpath, but it's only because there's nobody here. It's only because I want to get a look over there. Look at that. Now that is awesome, isn't it? That is absolutely brilliant. And that there, that step bit, that's your overflow spillway, in case it gets too high. And then that just breaks the water so it doesn't go cascading down. I don't know, maybe it erodes the um, water out between the blocks or something like that, possibly, I don't know. Anyway, it's looked that way, we're okay that way. But yeah, there you go. So, I mean, can you imagine how much um, force in like kilonewton per square metre that that water is exerting on this damn wall? <coughs> I mean, you probably can actually, if you're an engineer, you'll say, oh yes, it's uh, exactly 17,000 blah de blah. There it is. Superb. Around we go. Right, we are headed off down there which looks to be like another epic so we'll actually come you can see we've come down there we've come between that headland and we've come down there there's our there's where we cross the river then we're headed out across there and we're there hello little viewing platform here as well I think you'd probably get a better view off that side wouldn't you looks like it was one that's our missed it on the way up Got a little four before doglet here. So we'll just throttle it back over here. And we're off. This crushed slate makes a good surface. It's kind of like the powder. It's, um, oh, I mean, so that is a bit potholy. Always like the kind of, there's like a redness to the water if you look down at the edge, like a rustiness to it. This is easier going. Shouldn't say things like that though, should I? Because it kind of tempts fate. Not really cocky around here, look. Because uh, it doesn't matter how much armour you got on, them rocks is going to hurt you. Let him tick over down here. Give him a little bit of a rest. Going back to Bob Ross again, I know it's unrelated really, but I um, quite like watching the Bob Ross programme, I've always painted. Um, Bob Ross, all his paintings, it was uh, a requirement of his will when he died. He died of like a... Uh, I don't know, I don't want to state anything wrong here, but I, he got kind of a rare illness, he was uh, an ex-military man. And he always had that sort of big microphone style haircut, like the phone you get on a microphone. and. Um, but he hated it, but somehow it became his kind of like the Bob Ross trademark, so he could never shave it off. But, um, you know, back then, um, he didn't really look well out of place. He wouldn't do today, really, would he? But, um, yeah, so it was a wooden crown of his will, so you can buy Bob Ross style paintings, but they're not actually by Bob Ross. But when he did his shows, I don't know whether you've noticed at the beginning thread, you kind of see a painting being put together but it isn't always the actual painting that he is painting if you notice the slight differences 
and like he says, um, it's often um, the fact that he'll paint it two or three times before they start the filming, just to so he doesn't. Otherwise, you don't want to go halfway uh, through the painting and get it wrong, I suppose. Because the film, it's not like now, but then it was actually celluloid film, and they had one take to do it, so they had to get it right. So yeah, so actually, all the painters you see on there, there's probably several other ones very similar but slightly different. And I've noticed it. Uh, it was one particular way is being painted like a boathouse. Got some fresh breeze coming on here. It's painted like a boathouse. Um, and I noticed uh, the perspective on on the sort of credits as it went into it. It was different to what it actually painted. So I like could have watched it on capture. But I went back to the beginning. And I thought, oh yeah, it's not actually the same picture. So um, yeah, interesting or not? If you know into Bob Ross, he's like thinking, what the hell is he waffling on about? This watch will be like, ah, like I really thought to myself, well, I wouldn't mind trying to do some painting, but then um, I've got so much to do in my life as everybody else, I don't want to work, trying to do my house or getting out and um, doing this. I ain't got time, be nice though. Something for retirement, I suppose. Actually, we'd better stop and make sure the lens is clear because he's just covered me in water, didn't he? Let's have a look. Yeah, I think we're okay. Might as well just sit down, I'm not going to do Lally here, I don't want to be fired off the side like that. Thank you very much. CCM boy, he likes stuff like this, whereas I just think, well, it's hard. If you do come off, you're going to hit it hard. I like, I'd rather be doing um, technical stuff. I suppose that is because I was, uh, what do you call it, being weaned as a child watching Kickstart and Junior Kickstart. I mean, whatever happened to Kickstart on a Saturday night? Oh, brilliant that was. Pretty much, I think the whole nation. Um, used to watch that. Peter Purvis commenting on it, etc. Good stuff. This is more like it. We're a bit further away from that water's edge as well. Let's stick to this side. Keep some power, keep some speed up, try and keep it light on these rocks, don't need a rim flat. Right, this is a climb, climb, climb. We're up into the rain. If um, if the lens becomes fogged, I mean I'll have to just try and keep it clean, but it is what it is I'm afraid. Wow, did we just pass somebody? Well, you don't see many people up here, I'll tell you that. Yeah, you might be getting a bit of um, some spotty rain on the lens. So we've got to check the route, but she was still on it, yes we are. We're not the first up here, but we're definitely the first up that other piece. Right there, look. Unless it's an electrically assisted push bike. Or somebody that's really fit on a normal push bike.
Yeah, the race starts to come down there. Well, I think it's rain right, actually, it's just the way up in the, uh, up in the moisture. Got two tread irons there, look. We'll give way to these because we're powered. So we'll give way to these guys. Let them past us. Do you think? Oh, I see. Looks like I was right then, people many, 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 many times fitter than myself. Well, that's you clean for now. Whoops. Do a clean my I've got glasses on as well. Says, yeah, that'll be because there's another way into this, isn't there? So we've done the hard way, I suppose. Or the more technical way, slightly. It wasn't like terrible. this track's probably better maintained because it gives access to the reservoirs. Whoops, blimey. Just caught my foot on a rock there. I'm going to tell you what, we've not got this strapped in, have we? I've just thought. Need to get the bands on it. But I bet that's just moved it now.
if the lens are white, uh, where are we with this side? Uh, it's one of these. Take this opportunity to clean my glasses. But I cannot see nothing. There we go. I think this is the first day I've felt more normal. Breathing's a lot better. Feel a lot better, feel a lot fitter. Right, well, it's getting a bit monotonous now, really. I prefer it a bit from earlier. Looks like we'll have to go back. What's going on here? Look at you guys skywards. Oh, this is not allowed through here. What? This is not allowed through here, look. What was that, yeah, it stops here. No. But it shows obviously that road there. I don't know, it doesn't look like a proper sign. What's been going on there? Well then people, I shall turn you 